Should you set your thermostat to the auto or on fan feature? Let's talk about it. What are a few reasons you might want to use the on feature on your thermostat? You might want to turn the fan on if you have an upstairs and downstairs that is cooled by one system or heated or cooled by one system. Typically the upstairs is going to get crazy, crazy hot. If you turn the fan to the on position, it's going to help mitigate that a little bit. Or if you have rooms uh, that don't seem to be even with each other temperature wise, that'll help a little bit. It's not going to fix poor dog work. It's not going to fix poor system design, but it is a little bit of a crutch that you can fall on to help with some of that. The next thing is it's going to help uh, filter some of the air. Now this is situational. We'll get to that in a second. Depends on where your duct work is. It's going to help filter the air as more air runs across that filter. You're going to be catching more dirt and debris out of that. Next thing is it's going to keep the air moving. So it's going to keep the air in your house from getting stagnant, especially here in Kentucky. We have some days where you just don't really need to run the equipment much and the air in your house can start to feel a little bit stale. If you don't have fresh air or anything like that, at least moving the air will help. You can also turn on a ceiling fan though and it'll do the same thing. There are a few reasons you might not want to use the fan on feature. You're going to increase energy cost. Uh, essentially, older equipment, especially anything pretty much before 2015, 2018, that era there, uh, has an older style blower motor. It just costs a little bit more money. You're talking maybe 10 to 20 bucks a month difference in utility bill. Uh, nowadays, with our more efficient motors, it's pretty marginal. You're not going to really see that. Um, the biggest factor of that is duct leakage. If your duct work is located in an attic or crawl space, generally I'm going to say don't use a fan on feature, leave it to auto. If your duct work is in between the floors, you know, if you have a basement, your duct works up on the ceiling in the basement, you don't have a, an attic above it where it's in or it's not in the crawl space, you might want to use that fan on feature because these two are going to be really marginal. Uh, but the duct leakage factor alone, you're going to be introducing a lot of negative things into the home. We've done a video on duct leakage specifically. If you want to know a little bit more about it, that's going to be the biggest contributor. And the last thing is the humidity. If you have standard equipment, most people do. If you leave the fan to the on feature in the summertime, you're actually going to be reintroducing some of that humidity back into the house as the air goes across that coil that's supposed to be removing that moisture. It picks it back up, puts it back in the house. So not a great idea in the summertime uh, on basic equipment and not a great idea if you have duct work in the attic or crawl space. So when in doubt, leave it to auto, let the system do its job. Now, if you are one of those people who do have a situation where you have a really hot or cold upstairs and you have rooms that don't keep up, well, there's probably a reason for that. Let us come through and fix it and let us give you a surefire solution. But if you're just trying to do a cheap, economical, quick fix, on feature might be able to help you out. Hope this helps.